Samantha from Jason Mud Tutorials here. Now, this isn't the proper opening to the video. Unfortunately, the files got corrupted when I was loading it over onto my PC. And so, unfortunately, the start of this video was um, unexpectedly deleted. And so, the tutorial is going to start a few steps ahead. So, I just wanted to let you know that before the start of the video. We didn't actually miss much, it was just mostly chopping the clay. Um, but yeah, so if you're a little confused at the start of the video, it's just because the first few sequences got deleted, unfortunately. So I do still hope that you can enjoy the video, and yeah, let's begin the video. There we go. Then I'm going to flatten it out. Like so. Just so that it's all roughly the same height. And I'm just going to make sure that the taper remains the same. Okay, lift that up. And then I'm going to begin curling it from the thin side in. Like so. whole way around like so okay and then I'm going to keep that effect I'm not going to mess with that too much other than keeping trying to keep this pot round and squishing it so that all the pieces are stuck together and then we are going to shave that but before we do just take your roller and just roll it a few times so that you even it out. Like so. And that should be just about even and that will press everything together as well. Then grab a thin blade and we're not going to shave off too much. I just want to shave away um, the top there because it will have gotten a little bit smudged. And just continue doing that until you're happy with the result. Okay, then bring over a piece of paper and just give it a thorough burnish just to flatten it out again nice and even because we did shave it and so there's going to be um, a lot of uneven areas. There we go, shouldn't take too much. Then bring over your stencil of choice. Okay, and here it is. And I'm going to be using this fern over here. And I'm just going to position this off to the side. Pop that down. And you can even bring this back over. And just burnish it so that it's stuck onto the clay quite well. And then I'm going to bring over our bits and bobs here. And we're not going to be ending up using all of it, so I'm just going to kind of take a decent mix of both. Kind of jumble that all together into a marble. There we go. So that we're going to get a bit of all of the colour when we use it. So just take a small piece, warm that up in your palm. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to smooth that across through the stencil, like so. Okay. And then I'll stick it down to make sure that it stays stuck to the clay. And just repeat that same process until we've got the um, entirety of your chosen stencil image covered. Okay, there we go. Then grab a piece of paper and burnish that thoroughly so that the clay is stuck 
the clay that we put through the stencil is stuck onto the base clay thoroughly. And I'm just going to go in and tidy if there needs to be any tidying. Okay, and then I should be able to pull this up and have the excess clay come up with me leaving a pattern. Then I'll go over that and I will burnish that flat completely. Okay, and there we go. Then you're just going to pop that onto a piece of paper and this is just so that our back takes on a nice smooth surface because it's a little bit, it's got some shiny spots, I'm not sure if the camera's able to pick that up. But this is just going to mean that it's going to stay nice and smooth. Then I am going to take a sponge and I'm going to just press that over the surface just so that we can get a nice light texture over the piece. And I'll just continue. until I'm happy with that. Okay, and then the final thing I want to do is I want to go over the um, floral pattern with a ball tool and this is going to soften out to almost completely remove the sandpaper texture that we just gave the piece. And I'm only going to be doing that on the floral pattern because I only want that to be smoothed out because I want to create more a bigger difference between it and the background. Again, this is a personal option. You don't have to texture the piece also either. You can leave that out if you want to, so that's completely up to you. You could also just texture the floral part and smooth out the background if you wanted to completely up to you. Okay, and there we go. So it won't be completely smooth, it will have just kind of almost like a hammered metal look to it. Now I'm going to position my cutter of choice, which is this one, and also my circle cutter because I'm going to have it at the top so that we have almost like a donut. There we go, so I've just positioned it. I will cut the circle first. And then I'll cut the outer shape while the circle cutter is still in there so that it doesn't create any distortion. Spin that slightly to bring it out. And then I'm going to gently hold that so that it doesn't come up with the cutter because we are pressing on a piece of paper. So it is likely that that will happen. Oops. There we go, and then you should be able to lift that straight up. There we go, and it is a completely reversible piece as you can see because the back is also our scraps and because we cut it and just worked with it on a piece of paper at the end it will be completely smooth so you can reverse it if you want to. Uh, but yeah, now I'm going to pop that onto the paper and I will bake it for a full hour at Primo's recommended temperature and when it's done we might need to do some light sanding, but other than that, it should be pretty much finished. Okay, and here it is out of the oven. And I just wanted to show you the bag, so again, you can see it's completely reversible. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can now take that and string that however you want. If you want to, you can sand the sides as well. Generally speaking, if your cutter cut cleanly, you shouldn't have to do it. Um, I don't have to do this in this case and because we baked it on a piece of paper we don't have to worry about sanding the back if I rotate that around you can see it's got a completely flat matte finish because we burnished that down to a piece of paper and so you shouldn't have to do any finishing and because there's no paint or any surface inclusions on the clay you don't have to seal it so I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is with the matte finish and so we're pretty much done 
If you enjoyed the tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to support the channel, please do consider becoming a member. There is a join button in the uh, just below the video. Or you can become a patron. There is also a link to that in the description below. There's also a link to my Etsy store where I sell things like cutters, stamps, all sorts of polymer clay related tools and supplies. That's also another great way to support the channel if you're interested. Also, leaving a like is another great way to support the channel. It's completely free, but it means a lot. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.